All right, and let's get started tonight with the uh, um, an interesting matchup here. This is a matchup that happened in OPW. Shout out to Omega Man Pro Wrestling. And Devin Harrell, you know, he, he and um, Ken Washington have a, a little something going on. They're like a, a team, kind of. <laughs> it's like his little brother. It's like somebody he's trying to teach. But, um, you know, he did beat him for the OPW uh, World Championship over there. And now this is his first time stepping in his own ring this season. Yes, that is right. The boss the owner is coming to town to uh, wrestle in his own backyard and you know we're gonna have to see what happens with that and Ken Washington here you know this is his first time uh, in this is his first time in one of our rings uh, even though he owns it, you know what I mean? And this was also set up by Jason Parker, who uh, who said that he wanted to uh, he wanted nothing to do basically with Devin Harrell, and he was going to uh, make sure that uh, you know he put him in a predicament. So he chose the boss, who just so happened to be around here. You know what I mean? So we'll see if if the boss can uh, can get the win here. Um, I, I'm just shocked he actually took the uh, took the challenge. I mean, I'm trying to burn him to death. But I mean, this is more of a friendly rivalry. I don't think these two are gonna feel think anything of it. But you know, Jason Parker was on his uh, on his worst behavior when he uh, decided to to make this, and Isaac Turner was put into a predicament because the boss was like, "Hey, I'm gonna wrestle." Him. So here we go. And there we go, and here we go. We are ready for the match to begin. And oh man, just throwing haymakers starting off. And lifts him up. Ooh, hangs him out to dry. And look at Ken Washington there. Oh. He bricked it, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, big dragon screw leg whip, and then tries to dislocate that knee. And tries for the pin a little early. And now, oh, he tried for something, and oh, caught the big back suplex. And a big leg drop across the chest. I'm not sure what that big man is doing. Yeah, well, that's why he needs to stay off the top rope. Ooh, big German suplex taking him down. And now Devin Harrell trying to take away that power by working on them knees. And a little lion salt into the pin. Two, only a two count. He's just springboarding all over the place. And oh, there's that knee that everybody loves. And then straight into the pin. Good job. But only got a one count there. And now heading to the top rope. And ooh. Hits the move flush and kind of struggling to get out of the gates here. And he wants the knee. Hits it flush. But he picks him up. I'm not sure why. And Ken with that half and half and dumps him down hard on his head. And a receipt is given with that knee brace. And here what what is this music? Oops. I, I'm not sure who it is. 
and it's oh look at who it is it's Jason Parker and the ref is distracted but the ref didn't see him actually hit him and Devin Harrell goes into the pen he wants to face Jason Parker for the fusion championship but not just yet says Ken Washington man ooh hitting him square in the head busts him wide open and now going oh the fisherman buster takes him down and now going up to the top rope you can only oh he went for the head and now he has him where he wants him I think oh that half and half again dumps him down hard and I think he is upset that Jason Parker actually put himself into the match and then, you know, oh, this, ooh, man that's supposed to be his friend just tried to take advantage of it, but hey, he would do it himself. I mean, that's, <laughs> I don't, I don't think he needs to argue with that point. Everybody knows that he would. And that chokes him into the backbreaker not playing around at all and now gonna throw him into the opposite corner Ooh, and he's gonna do it again sure why not into the big elbow and the crowd firmly behind it as he is trying to Devin is having a hard go of it now <laughs> and uh oh oh dumps him down hard good gracious Oh, and lifts him up for the neck breaker. No, he's going to hit him in the back of the head. Oh, that's the second time he's going to miss the top rope move. He's going to stop those eventually. <laughs> and, oh, big slap. Just hurt his own hand. And then just throws Devin Harrell over his head. And Ken Washington is upset, if anything. And what is he doing here? Oh, God. Just shots to the back of Devin Harrell. And then the backstabber. Devin Harrell is in a bad way here. Missing those top rope moves really took him out. And now he is waiting. For, I don't know what. Oh. Not sure what he was trying to do there, but he screwed it up, whatever it was. Ooh. And into the... Okay. Ooh. Hits him hard. These two are having a matchup. Ooh. Maybe you should just stop with the, uh, uh oh, the stunner has connected and into the pin we go. One, two, only a two count. And the crowd is chanting fight forever as Ken Washington ooh, throws him into the corner. And now he's going for it again. The pounce has connected. Jason Parker cannot be happy about this. He did everything in his power to try to keep Ken Washington from winning. One, two, three. And Ken Washington has managed to defeat his friend, his partner. And 2K is still on that mess. Okay. But anyway. <laughs> oh, God. He should have seen that one coming. But, hey. I thought that he would have tried to attack her, and then he just walks off like everything's cool. But the fact that Devin Terrell went for the pin right after that, did he just. The Shadow Realm claimed him too. And he tried for that headbutt there. Oh my goodness. Hit him with the stunner. And But that was the ender right there. That pounce. Congratulations to Ken as he will go on next week to face Jason Parker for the uh, P 
Pure Fusion Championship. That's, uh, hey, it's got to be defended, so congratulations, boss. And with this next match, we have the Black Label Society coming to the, the ring. The contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. Accompanied by Ben at a combined weight of 631 pounds. And Ben Frame accompanying his boys to the ring after they were unable to win the tag team championships. Um, and we're going to see what happens here with them. Um, I, uh, my. <laughs> I, I don't know, you know, they're facing a debuting tag team, so we'll see if uh, if that makes any difference. You know, their mainstay here with their boss out there, Ben Frame, and the Black Label Society. Um, but here we go with the new tag team. And this is Lockheed and the Grimlock, and they are facing off against uh, against the Black Label Society and you can tell who's who by their gear um, the Lockheed is the one with the Samoan tattoos and the Grimlock is his tag partner there and those are some big boys they definitely had all their vitamins and mental rails as they were coming up but uh, they signed here to NHW we're happy to have them you know what I mean and they got to meet the boss tonight. Uh, I don't know if that's how you want to meet your boss when he's getting ready for a matchup. But, you know, whatever. You know, it's, it is what it is. And uh, there goes the bell, and here we go. And, ooh. And Stone starting off. That's a cane. A cane starting off real hot. Ooh. against Lockheed and tags out quickly to let Stone get in there and get some work and Stone quickly into the Anaconda Vice trying to take him down, take him out early and oh big reversal there by Lockheed and showing a little bit of his speed is Stone Much to the uh, much to the happiness of Ben, who just watched him get reversed, and now, ooh, big clothesline taking him down, and now tags in the Grimlock. Ooh, slaps him in the head. Just decked him right there. Just punched him right in the mouth. Now going to hang him up on the ropes. What's he going for here? And push him off. Mm, forearm to the spine. Give him a second one. And then let him fall to the ground. And he wants the tag, but I don't know if the big man's gonna let him do that. That was a gigantuous elbow, and we are into the pin one. Ooh, ooh. Mm, big DVT taking him down. And the ref is counting. Uh oh. Ooh. Big spine buster to stone as a cane gets out of the ring finally. And he is not making that tag. He's going to walk him over to his own corner and hang him up on the top rope. Showing a little bit of disrespect there into the power slam. And he is taunting as the tag was made. Ooh, he got punched in the mouth for his problems. Ooh. And into the pin one. Barely even a one count. Lockheed comes in with the save anyway. And now dropping him down. Big back suplex there. Should have been paying attention. Oh, he got him. And hangs him up on the top rope. And now he is 
proclaiming himself? I don't know what that was. Oh, that spear. Into the pin. One, two, almost a three count. You can't get much close than that as Lockheed is getting himself together and Stone doesn't know what to make of it. And the Grimlock is out here throwing hands. Ooh, throws him into the corner. Jesus Christ. What a big. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see. Oh, he lifted him up. Oh, God. I think he just wants to punch him in the mouth. Oh, there goes a knee to the chest. And look at the power. He just pushed him up into the air and let him fall. And he has him up. Into the power slam. And now gonna drag him away from his corner. Probably smart. Drags him towards his own. Really smart. He goes for the pin. One. Only a one count. Stone was able to break it up. And oh! The flipping clothesline there from McCain. And a cane with his own power slam. And oh, downward spiral. Here we go. Uh oh. Oh no. The tombstone. But it's going to be a rope break. His foot was clearly under the ropes. And so now he's just going to try to brutalize him. And this is what Ben Frame is all about with the Black Label Society. Jeez. He's more about the beating of beating up. <laughs> Ooh, and they ran into each other, two big boys, and that short arm clothesline took him down into the pin. One, only a one count still as Stone gets back in there. And should have been paying attention as he just went for the ride. And now back on the attack. Ooh, big shot taking him down. And... God almighty, he is just throwing hands with him. And now going to walk him over into the corner. And the tag is made. Off the ropes we go. Up and over goes the big man. Lockheed. Working on that trap. Holding him by that muscle until his arms go numb. Into the pin. One. Two. Only a two count. Ooh. But staying on the attack. And I really think that Stone needs to uh, stay with his. Okay. Or, you know, just keep attacking the people out there. God, he is just holding them up. Ooh. Lockheed has a face full of blood. And now he's throwing hands with him and now trying to pull his arm out of place. And try, ooh, tried to punch him, but it didn't work. And oh, takes him down with the clothesline. I have no idea what's going on outside the ring. Woo, but I saw that super kick. And up we go and down we go. And. Into the oh, flat line right on the face. Shoots him over and goes for the pin. One, two, only a two count. And he is all by himself for the moment as these two have really like cut off the ring. And, ooh, ooh. Oh, man. And Lockheed. With the overhead belly to belly, he is showing all kinds of, I'm not sure where he's going. You see Stone reaching his hand out for the tag. And he's not, he didn't go for any of the tags. Ooh, but that gut wrench though, he caught every piece of that. Oh, back on top. Woo! Busted him open with that kick. And Stone not going to help him. And you can see the blood slightly down under his mask. 
And now we're going to throw him into the corner. Go get some help from the Grimlock. Off the ropes, up, and oh, oh no, a double shoulder tackle. And the tag finally made as a Kane has been in there. Ooh. And he just ran over Stone. Oh, he wasn't paying attention, but Stone barely gets the one count. Ben is really looking at his team. And the tag made again. I don't think Lockheed has had the joy of being... Ooh, he went for a spear and got kicked in the face instead. And now going to deposit him on the top rope like some laundry as he falls down into the corner. Now choking him out with those boots. And slides right into the pin, and there's nothing Ben can do. The ref is looking right at him as a two count is administered, and a cane is still down. A cane is having a rough go of it. He has been getting beat up. And I'm not sure where he's trying to go. Now I do. He's going into the corner. Tag is made. And off the ropes they go. Another double shoulder block. And now lifts him up. The big dominator. And into the pin. One. Two. Only a two count. I think that was broken up by his own partner. Oh. He thought he was going to hit him. But he did not. And now he's going to deposit him outside of the ring. And the Black Label Society has a... Uh, has a problem here. <laughs> and I'm what the what the fuck is he do, what is he doing? Okay. Sure. This game. Oh 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 ooh DDT right on his face at the count of four. And is he trying to get after Ben? I don't know what the hell he's trying to do. All I know is that we are at the count of seven, and Stone is back up on his feet, and he is throwing hands, trying to stay alive, and I'm going to give him a receipt. Oh my goodness gracious. Makes the tag to a cane, and this is just the second match of the night. <laughs> These boys is going at it. They are fighting, fighting. Oh my goodness, that big man tried to fly and he's probably dead. Whew. The soup bones are here. You go again. He lost. Mm. Drops more of his knee. Tries to throw that arm out of place just throws him we're at the count of six we only have a 10 count here we don't do the 20 and we're at the count of seven. Oh! and what in the world okay I'm not sure what Ben did to him but Ben's dead And now he took offense to him putting his hands on the boss man of the Black Label Society. And now just punching him in the face. Good gracious. And ben had been pretty good up to that point, I thought. And now... Grimlock makes the tag to Lockheed and there comes a cane finally back in the ring. And he still wants hands with him for putting his hands on the boss. But he should have been paying attention. Because now he's back upon the shoulders. He was able to escape. Oh. He's going for a ride. That was a hell of a choke slam with a leg drop to follow. And oh boy. There it is again. But once again ring presence is terrible because 
He is up under the ropes. And I'm not sure how he missed. Oh. Oh, okay. And going for the pin. One, two. And still able to kick out. And what is he? I don't. They're directionless. <laughs> oh, man. Picks him up. Side slam. And he is right there. You can see him trying to get his hands together. And Stone just <laughs> runs over and gets into the pen. Sir, he's right there. And these two still have beef with one another. And wee! There he goes out of the ring. And, ooh, a reversal. He grabs him. Oh, he's going for a ride. Oh, God. Fall away slam. Big fall away slam. And now sends him over. And sits out and has him. Oh, God. He is wrenching back hard. And Kane is not paying attention. And they have lost the matchup. Okay, I was about to say, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Yeah. So, uh, the new team of Lockheed and... Here are your winners. Lockheed and the Grimlock have won this matchup and starting off good at a one and oh so let's get on to the next one congratulations and match three here tonight is gonna be a uh, a banger i think um we've got jason ramirez coming back one of the newest con and i'm he's gonna get a shot at yeah He'll get a shot here really soon at the TV title. He's one of the people that we haven't seen enough of, if you ask me. And uh, Isaac Turner is whispering in my ears that he is going to get a shot at the television championship. Um, but you know tonight it's going to be decided in a cage match where the only way to win is pinfall or submission. And Jason Ramirez, as I said, somebody that needs to be on your screen more and more. And, um, hey, we'll see what happens. I mean, the television title could elevate him if he can win it, but we've got to get it. You know, Cody Yamamoto and Alex Barnes situated, and then there's still David Cullum, who really wants a piece of Cody Yamamoto <laughs> so you know we'll have to see what's going on there we also have the European Championship being defended here tonight um, in a one on one matchup and to my knowledge you know PK King is here but he's just going to watch with his boys in the back and um, he'll be getting the next shot at the European title at the old school pay part of you so, with that, our next competitor, who is our next competitor? Because this game still puts everybody out of place. Uh, our next competitor is J.B. Hayes coming to the ring and a mainstay of NHW. And J.B. Hayes is still over here uh, with a 1-1 one one record. Trying to get the 2-1. and one. He has one win. Um, excuse me. His win was in a singles match against the man <clears throat> who's challenging for the TV title. And this is a former junior heavyweight um, and television champion. Um... I'm sure he'll be in the uh, representation for a future title shot at a uh, at a championship of uh, 
I don't know. We've got the Fusion Championship. We've got championships out there for him to choose from. So we'll have to see which one he wants to put his name in the division for. I mean, of course, everybody at some point wants to be in the world title picture. But, you know, it just doesn't happen like that all the time. And right now, it's a little crowded there with Ray Lethal and Jaden Shadow. And if Christopher Marshall can beat him tonight, he's going to want him a shot as well. And now coming to the ring is, I know that music, that is the Outsider. That's right, the Outsider who went through a little uh, renaissance of a look. Um, I like this look better on him. Um, but here he comes to the ring. And y'all will have to forgive me. I am, uh, because my tonsils are still pieces of crap. I am, uh, so I got a little ice pop just to, uh, keep my voice going for this. <laughs> oh, Lord, how I hate them. But anyway, the outsider and the last participant in this matchup, they've got a little history because, um,. The Outsider is actually the reason that last season he had to leave the company um, for the rest of the season. I mean, we thought it was a forever firing, but when you have a boss like Isaac Turner who gives out, well, a GM like Isaac Turner who's allowed to make uh, VP moves, um, he brought him back, and that is Furious Frank, um, who we have not seen a lot of on the screen. Um, but he is still here. He also runs his own promotion of Riot World Riot Pro Wrestling, which is what he has got on that very shiny jacket on the front there. But don't worry about all that. Um, I was waiting for the pyro. But anyway, <laughs> he is coming to the ring now, and he is just, you know. Oh, there, there he goes. And so I know that when uh, when Frank heard that he was going to be in a matchup with uh, with the outsider, that just made him very happy so that he could uh, get some sort of revenge off of uh, off of uh, the outsider. And uh, hey, yeah, so these matches, they're always elimination when they're multi-man. Um, you win by pinfall, submission, or knock them the F out. And the outsider, Jason Ramirez, over there talking. They might be talking a little strategy, you know what I'm saying? Get down to them two, and then they have them a good old time. But uh, Frank is the last one in the ring, so uh, let's find a referee and get started. All four men are ready. Time's on the clock. Ref has rung the bell. And no, the outsider goes straight after Ramirez. And to be fair, um, Dewey, that cutter. To be fair, um, JB Hayes and the uh, Furious Frank have a little bit of history as, uh, I'm pretty sure that JB Hayes is the one that took the TV title or beat. Furious Frank in a TV title matchup. Mm. And if he keeps throwing him around like that, they're going to beat him again. Lawn dart. I just saw somebody get lawn darted. And Furious Frank with those bows to the back. He was paying attention to the boss earlier. It's always fun when the boss comes to play one well, I had another one. Anyway, oh, into the pen, but the rope break is on. There it is. Ooh, and they are swinging again. Oh, JB is swinging again. And oh, outsider was able to take Jason down. And now stomping it out a little bit here. And woo! Psycho lead. Takes him down. And somebody's out of the ring. <laughs> oh, the outsider. Oh, 
Jason Ramirez wants a little bit of J.B. Hayes there. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, kick to the gut. J.B. Hayes has always been one of the most athletic people in in the ring, in one of our rings. He is killing him with those with those suplexes. Two count on Jason Ramirez. And I think J.B. Hayes was smart right there and went, rolled outside the ring and here they go to half and half into did he copy Ken Washington's moveset? This just looks familiar. Anyway, um, oh, uh, I'm gonna have to hear it. Well, oh, never mind, never mind. Cause he don't do brain busters. Anyway, into the pin one, two, and only a two count. Right, it seems like they're jumping Jason Ramirez. And that Pele kick sat him down into the pin. One, two. Jason Ramirez is still in this. Oh, ooh. I thought he was about to deposit him on his brain. I really did. And now lifts him up. And there it is. All around the outside. Two. Only a two count, but he caught him with it. He caught him with it flush. And oh, that's that was the slowest DDT ever. And ooh, that knee wasn't that knee was right across the mush. And the outsider is about to have to hold this. What is he going? For? Oh, he is going to sit him out. No way to protect himself. He should be dead. Got to pull him away from the ropes. And slides right into the pin. What a finisher. The outsider. Former world champion. The first one eliminated by Jason Ramirez. And now Jason Ramirez in the corner. Getting that arm worked on by Furious Frank. As J.B. Hayes cuts back into the ring. And the former world champion, the outsider, is not having a good start to, uh, <laughs> to uh, his, uh, his season here. Oh, that spear. And look at him. Look at J.B. I'm going to go ahead and get him a pin out of it. Or not. Or just get him a two count. I feel like the ref had something to do with that. The ref was all up in the middle of that nonsense. Woo, that slap was vicious. Oh boy, he was going for it too. And JB hangs him out to dry. As both men are going to get up. Ooh, kick to the midsection. There he goes again. Head scissors DDT type and never taunt. Ooh, dropped him hard on his neck. And Jason Ramirez not having any of that. Sorry about that. Mm. Uh, spinning on prettier and slides right into the pin. One, two, three, and Jason Ramirez has been eliminated and it is down to J.B. Hayes and Furious Frank. Oh! Or it could just be J.B. Hayes. And I'm just getting word that the winner of this match um, should Ken Washington win the Pure Fusion Championship next week, um, the winner of this match will be his first challenger at the Old school pay per view. Well, there you go. The boss man is already making a declaration for a title that he has not won. But these guys don't know that. Mm. I know that arm has to hurt and the midsection twice over. 
into the pen. One, two. And JB Hayes has to be asking himself, what else do I have to do? This could be it. His signature move for year after year. That cutter that he missed. And he just foiled his plans. Mm, throws him into the corner hard. Oh, big back elbow. And Furious Frank with the kick to the midsection. I hope the spinning I'm prettier again. Slides right into the pin. One, two, no three. And, mm. The taunting. Boy, oh boy, the taunting. <laughs> Big elbow drop right on the throat area. I think my throat is going to survive for the next couple of matches, too. Anyway, oh, he's got another one. He's about to do it again. Whee! Slides right into the pin, hooks the leg. I don't think he's kicking out of that. And Furious Frank notches his first win of the season. And unfortunately, the others have to take that L with them. Oh, poor J.D. Hayes. But hey, you know, everybody gets a shot at the TV title. So even you can have a losing record and have five title defenses and wind up in a, in a world title match. Oh, my goodness. I mean, the former world champion is that. Oh, he looks old. He looks like that match took a lot out of him. Or maybe he's thinking about that Pure Fusion championship that he could be challenging for here in just a couple weeks' time. Uh, but hey, there is your winner, Furious Frank. Congratulations to him. And uh, I still got three more matches to get this throat through. So uh, let's go ahead and find him. And here we go. The television title is on the line. No renegades allowed. Uh, David Cullum can't get involved. This is all these two, and that is the Alex Barnes facing off against Cody Yamamoto. And I, um, Alex Barnes has uh, went through a little transformation, as you can see. No more with the mask before he comes out. Got him a little haircut. And he is just in one week. He's changed up a little bit. And he is ready to go. I have no doubt in my mind. That this man is ready to fight. And um, hey. Uh, Cody Yamamoto has yet to lose. So you know. That is probably gnawing at him as well. 6-0 and oh as the. 6-0 and oh in total as the TV champion. He is 3-0 and oh, and this will be his fourth title defense, even though there is an asterisk um, by that one from last week, so, you know, we'll have to see if uh, if he can do it on his own. You know what I'm saying? There's nobody to help him here. There's a cage. That's it. No 
help whatsoever. And I'm whew, this is this is really Alex Barnes' time to shine. to see you know, like I said he looks ready we we'll have to see how ready he is because uh, he's got his work cut out for him Whew. he looks ready though <laughs> oh oh man I hate that alarm but anyway um now coming to the ring is one Cody Yamamoto, the at current longest reigning television champion, and he's rocking his Renegades uh, attire. So he throws that championship on his shoulder, and uh, we'll have to see. You know what I'm saying? If if he can uh, if he can keep it, you know what I mean? I mean he's he's been doing good, but there's there's always room for improvement. That's just what they say, and. Um, We'll have to see if he has uh, what it takes to do it on his own. You know, there's really no nobody here to help him. Period. End of story. We know they're here, but they can't help him. So, um, hey. <laughs> um, oh, man. Yeah. We'll just, we'll just have to see, though. We'll just have to see. I don't even know what to say anymore about that I just I just feel like we, we need to see and we will see uh, what is going on with these two as uh, this rivalry continues and you gotta know that Cody Yamamoto has gotta have his you know eyes in the back of his head because there's still a uh, looming David Cullum Introducing the champion from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 252 pounds. He is the television champion, Cody oh. Yamamoto. That was my knuckles, if y'all heard it. But there's the champion holding the belt. And that could be his last time handing it over to the referee. The ref goes over and shows it. And there is no rope breaks in this that I'm aware of. I could be wrong. Um, but this here, this is pinfall or submission. There's no knockouts in this particular cage match. Um, because we want to see who is the best. And a knockout is a cop-out. So here we go. Ooh. Alex starting off big with a huge German suplex. And, ooh, big knees, shots, shots. Oh, my lord. All right, combination ending with the senton. We like it here. And he is on Cody's head right now, about to make his shoulder blades click in the back. And now lifts him up into the ripcord, into the knee. And we're going to do it again. We're going to do it from the other side. Oh, my God. He's got a knee to both sides of his jaw, and there's the ref one. The ref on the outside with the count. Ooh, ooh. Mmm, has already busted him open. Cody Yamabato is not faring too well in the opening, in the opening salvo of this. And just as I said that, he managed to turn it around, and now going to stomp him out. Escaping the cage does not help you at all. Ooh, you literally need to uh, pin your opponent or make them submit. You escape the cage, they can just follow you back out there. And he just kicked them square into the face. Now we're going for a little sunrise of the tequila version. And pulling back on him. But he is able to escape and oh, kicks him in his already bloody face. 
Cody able to get the advantage and put his knee right in his mouth. One, only a one count there. This has been a good matchup so far. Alex started out the gate hot. And now Cody throws him off the ropes. Bricked it. And... Ooh! Now Alex Barnes into the pin. One, two... Ooh, a two count there. And these two have a lot of history. This all started because of some disrespect to the Queen of the Renegades. Ooh, the reversal caught him a knee to the face. And where is Cody going? Oh, for a little Holland hangover there. Into the pin. One, two, only a two count, and he is beside himself, a little behooved, if you will. Alex Barnes really wants that championship. Ooh, throws him into the corner. And oh, big elbow right to the cut. And so he's going to try it again. And hasn't. Mm, nope. Oh, big knee. Kick. Tried for the knee again. Bricked it the first time. Ooh. And now trying to hang him out right out there where the crowd can see him best. And off the rope he goes for the disaster kick. And it just turned out to be a disaster. Ripcord into the short arm clothesline. Flipped him out of his shoes. And ooh, kick to the knee. Sir, I'm sorry. Because why? Okay. Uh, oh, the super kick right in the mouth. And into the pin before Cody can move one, two. Only a two count. And you can see he is beside himself. But he has got to stay on top of the bigger competitor. Hmm. Kicks him over to his back. Uh-oh. Listen, oh no, he's gonna choke him out. He's trying to choke the life out of him. Will he be able to make him submit? He's got the grapevines in there. There's nowhere for him to go. He he let him go. Why did he let him go? Okay, ripcord into the knee that's already murdered his face a couple times. And he goes right back into it. Right back into that sleeper hold. Cody Yamamoto. <gasps> oh, what did we just witness? Um, um, we have a new TV champion, ladies and gentlemen. I, I don't. Oh, I don't even know what to say about that. Um, I, yeah, you can you, you see me you see me trying to put words together, and it's not working. And that is because I am honestly surprised. Um, God, Alex Barnes is the new television champion, able to take. Out Cody Yamamoto who had nowhere to go and he I guess it was smart that he let him go hit him with a move and then put him right back into it it makes it made perfect sense here is your winner and new television champion Alex Barnes. wow congratulations to Alex Barnes for his first championship here in NHW um, I don't even know what to say except congratulations and let's uh, see where it goes. We still got some more action, so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get let's get to it. I am in shock. I'm almost like the crowd. I have no idea. Congratulations, good sir. And look who just slid in the rain. That's David Cullum. He hatred for Cody Yamamoto is just unreal and Cody doesn't even have the title anymore. He just lost it. 
literally just lost it. But it doesn't matter to David. He came out and laid waste to both of them. And now the world champion has his hands full as he's in his first match on um, on Voltage since winning the title. No, not since winning the title. But his first match on Voltage in a while. And he is facing Christopher Marshall. Um, who I, who, uh, I don't know. He's, uh. He's been here. Um, I just, I just don't know what to say. Uh, I mean, he he was the inaugural TV champion when it first came back, but he didn't hold it long. He lost it to Cody Yamamoto, who just lost it to Alex Barnes, and yeah, it's just wild in these streets. But we will see if he is able to beat the world champion and if he can beat the world champion then what well he will clearly be able to go yo let me uh let me get in on this world title picture you know because we we all know that uh that Ray Lethal wants the title back we all know that Jaden Shadow is trying to get the title back and uh we'll just have to uh we we'll just have to see what happens. I'm, I'm as conf- I, I, I want to see this matchup um, just as much as anybody else. So let's uh, let's see what's going on here. Let's see what happens um, as he gets in the ring, and you know, I I don't even know I don't even know what to really say about Marshall. He's he's a mainstay of NHW, and we're glad to have him here. We love having him here. He's been a champion, of course. Um, and we're going to see if he can't get himself towards another title. Because um, why not? Why why not? But now he has to face off against the man who claims himself as the world's champion right now. And that is... <laughs> Stephen Sugar Hill. The current reigning and defending NHW world's heavyweight champion and yeah I know people are like hey we that title does not look like the regular world title no that's the world title from last year um it's my favorite design and um that's the one the boss decided to go with there we go oh kayfabe almost died right there anyway (laughs) kayfabe has been dead but anyway I'm not changing that either she so it's too hilarious um but anyway there he is in the ring and we'll see if he can uh if he can win this match and there's cm and there's stefan there's the bell and here we go and stefan hill throws him into the corner and off the ropes he goes, and oh my god, ran him over with the fist already. And a big flying back elbow. And just on Christopher Marshall's head, starting off. And now going to the top rope, because that's what he's supposed to be doing. And he got a little bit of uh, Montez Ford airtime as he dropped that knee. One, two... Man, if he had got a three count right there, I would have... Anyway. Ooh, that wasn't even a knee. That was more of the shin to the face. As he picks him up. Ooh, spins him around. Has him behind. Takes him up. Spins him around into the powerbomb. Slides into the pin. One, two. And Christopher Marshall is more about the the violence this year. Ooh. Ooh. Big knees going all over the place. But that... Oh, alright. And sends him over the top rope. Ooh. And a drop kick. Dropping him down hard. Hard. 
and now lifts him up. Ooh, shooting hands. Hmm. And goes up and oh my goodness, big knee. And now he is telling him to come on. Talking trash to the world champion. Oh. Oh. Getting that knee worked on. And Hill is really beside himself. Snap suplex. And this man is a former boxer. Woo. He went to punt his head. He tried to kick his head off. Mm. Now he's getting that knee to the midsection. And has him. Oh, he's going to do it again. And now that big knee to the face. And he's got to be wary of Ray Lethal and Jaden Shadow. I mean, we saw them earlier tonight just in the. Just doing what they do, you know what I'm saying? Just back there, just beating, you know, just whooping the hell out of each other. You know, nothing, nothing too, too major. <laughs> just, just beating each other to death. They don't even bother to to go to the make it to the back no more. They just, uh, they just trying to kill each other from wherever they find them. Like you arrive in the car and you already fighting. Oh, big knee. Has him from behind. The ah, skull crushing finale into the pin. One, two, three, and Stephen Sugar Hill able to knock off CM. Oh man, I was not expecting that like that, but I mean, that shows you why he is the world champion. And, uh, Unfortunately for Christopher Marshall, that is a loss in the book. But I mean, it's not all over yet. We do know that uh, Trevor Hannibal. I mean, he still got that first blood title if he wants to be that kind of violence. But right now, now look at him. What are you doing, sir? Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Congratulations. No, he did it. Oh, my goodness. I can't stand him sometimes. <laughs> Main event time. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the European Championship. And Figgy Smalls has, he knows uh, this man because he was in a triple threat with him um, for the European Championship. Now let's see if he can't defend it because here he comes. And that is uh, Kojak, the natural himself. And we will see if he is able to uh, finally fulfill himself and capture that European title that has been, in my eyes, eluding him. Um, I mean, we know that he wants, you know, like a... Uh, ah, probably a world title shot or... I mean, he's already said he wants all the gold in the locker room. He got some Snickers, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, you know, you, you got to do what you got to do. And this is where P.K. King has to be watching because he knows that uh, and anything can happen. You know what I'm saying? Um, sorry about that. That was my tooth. That bad boy hurt it. Um, but anyway, <laughs> here is... Uh, Kojak and he is challenging for the European title and you know what what if he can take it you know and then PK King gets it and then what about Figgy Smalls it is a, it's a lot to consider um 
but there starts the way the the savior himself or the man who made a man stop using the savior gimmick name all of it is now holding gold here in NHW the NHW European champion taking it away from PK King who was the longest reigning European champion um, in the history of our European championship um, and so we'll see if he can uh, if uh, Figgy Smalls can continue his dominance here uh, I mean at the end of last season he was he did win himself a shot so, he got his shot, and he made the most of it. Now, we'll have to see what he's going to do with it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's do what we do here. Let's get to work as only we can. And Kojak is ready, and there is uh, Figgy Smalls, uh, who I know is ready. And uh, let's... Uh, ooh, mm. Let's see what happens here. There is the NHW European Championship. Introducing the challenger from Chroma City, weighing in at 255 pounds, the natural. And introducing the champion. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 281 pounds. He is the European champion, Christopher the Falcon Figueroa. All right. And there we have the intros out of the way. Handing over the belt to the referee, who uh, this referee has been on point. He is the brother of the one who got fired last week. And um yeah, Juan has been doing a pretty good job tonight. So let's let's see if Juan can keep his job in this matchup. As his name from now on, Juan. Anyway, there we go. The bell is rung and oh my lord, Figgy with the ripcord end to the he's dead. All right. oh no, he no sold it. Back to his knees. And he just grabs him by his neck. And clubbing blow to the chest. Drops down for the pin already. One. Didn't think that was going to get it done. But hey, you know. Good on you for trying. Ooh, drops a fist hard. And now on the outside, heading to the top rope. And he, he was able to hit him with that double axe handle and then drop him with the senton. And then they want to run him over with that knee. And we, ooh, spins him around. And now introduces the back of his head to the canvas. He used that good. He used that good die though, because you know it's not on the uh, it's not on the canvas. And ooh, big shoulder tackle to the lower back. Ooh, double axe handle right to the neck. Spins him around, knee to the midsection, drops him down, but then gets kicked to his midsection. Oh, went to block something, but that wasn't a blocking thing as he picks him up for a power bomb. No, he's going to throw him out of the ring. Oh, my goodness. We've seen that multiple times tonight, and it looks like he is going to fly. No. He wants him to stand up. He bricked that. He missed everything. He didn't. Even, he didn't hit the table. He didn't hit the ring. He didn't hit nothing except the floor. It sounded like a. <laughs> it sounded like a, a, a wet blanket. Just. Oh man. Ooh, big knee to midsection. And now working on that knee of his. Really stretching it out. And lifts him up and launches him down. Ooh. 
Now remember this this is M Figgy's wheelhouse. Uh I mean he uh I mean, he he can't really say too much, you know what I'm saying? He, if he gets oh counted out, you know he keep he keeps the title, so that's that's well well he threw him in the ring. All right, yeah. you know, it looks like he is already willing and waiting. Oh, has him! Oh my goodness, dumped him down hard on his back. Into the pin. One, two, only a two count. That is huge for him. And the, the crowd chanting fight forever. And, oh, man. Has him locked in. Nowhere to go. Okay, he had to let him go. But he's not done with him yet. Doesn't look like look like he's going to try to hurt them fingers. And now, is he going to the top rope? No, he's going for the pin. Ref's right there. One. Ref. I seriously do not know what's up with this referee. <laughs> I can tell he's just like his brother. I just gave him this. I just gave him all the. I just gave him all the 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 praise in the world, and he is looking right at him, and can't manage to get out. Oh, and what is going on here? And even after that great match we just had, I know that. Kojak is not happy with what just happened and the way he won, but the ref did count. Play. And there's PK King. Uh, hey, listen, y'all know what to do. I'm not even going to say it. Just watch out for this match coming at the pay-per-view.